So some of it was for me. I learned from the creative writing program that when I write things down on paper, it forces me to not just skim around issues, but to be precise and say, here's what I actually mean with this word and this word. So some of it was for me, but honestly, some of it was, I really had that ADA curriculum as my model. And most of the people who go to ADA, they encourage them, like keep a blog because it's going to encourage you like to see how you've grown, but also it becomes a networking tool because you will learn to write about tech by writing about tech. And then when people don't know who you are, this is pretty early at the time there weren't a lot of boot camps in Seattle it wasn't a really well-known thing and so when people are like oh I graduated from this boot camp or oh I'm I'm self-taught the next question was kind of what does that mean so I did it partly for for those reasons and because that's what I had seen but then also a couple months in realizing like this whole process felt so redemptive to me as as someone who had been around computers for a long time and who could have learned them younger and and just for whatever reason that's not how it went and it was like i could go back and give that gift back to my younger self of like guess what problem solving super fun computers are just another way of problem solving like coding is just talking to a computer the way that speaking spanish is talking to someone like you you're just talking to something that speaks in ones and zeros and you have to figure out a way to do that and uh, so it was sort of like this redemptive thing for me of i got to go back and and build in those skills so yeah i i i really i think there are more people out there who don't realize and because some of those getting started resources like sometimes they miss things like oh you don't have a mac you have you know, a computer that's running Windows and you have to add things to the path. That was, oh, I cried bitter, bitter tears over that. And if if my husband had not been in the other room where I could go be like, you computer science people, why don't you put directions in here? Like, you know, he he definitely heard from me a few times where I was like, if you're developing on a on a Mac versus on a Windows machine, it's different. And I had a Windows machine and that put up some, some barriers in the learning process. And I was like, no one should have to go through this. <laughs> it should be easier. So yeah, some of the vlog was for me. Some of it was to put it out there for anyone else who's kind of doing the same thing. And um, in hindsight, now that I, I'm kind of on the other side of this, it's also something where a lot of people reach out on LinkedIn or other places and they'll ask like, okay, well, I'm, I have a background in biology and I want to learn to code, but it's super different. And I'm like, I have a creative writing degree. <laughs> if I can do it, you can do it. Like, please just, just try. And so then I'll, I'll send them pieces depending on, on what's going on.